Hey guys, along this animation here, coming with another update to my Minecraft mod called Survival in the Wild. This update is called the More Weapons Update. This is my website, has webhostappcom But now I've made an important update. Now you can actually see information about my Minecraft mod. Survival in the Wild. Ah. Now you can see information about crafting recipes, weapon stats, animal stats, and boss stats. And now you also get the download, download links for each version. Well, this one is the more weapons update. And uh, clicking download will take you to the media fire link where you can then download the Minecraft mod. And it's for Minecraft Forge, so uh, you, you can also go on YouTube to look up the instructions for installing Forge mods. And you can also download older versions of the mod. And then there are the crafting recipes. Now that I created way more items, I figured there should be a list of crafting recipes somewhere, so I put them here. And for each page, there's a part that says here just to go back to the mod's main page, which you can click, and it takes you back to the mod's main page. You can also click on the weapon stats. It'll show you the stats of each weapon. And there's also a section that shows the, the new weapons to be added in this mod. And later I'll fix these uh, image issues. You can also find the statistics of each creature in the game. In this game mod. And you can also find the statistics of each boss. As you remember from the last update, I've created three snake bosses. But that's it for this website, website show off. Now, I'll be showing off the Minecraft mod. Alright guys, now we're back. Now we're going to be playing this game in creative mode. Or you can recall the lead ore from the snake update. But now I've also added lead nuggets. And one link ingot creates nine lead nuggets, which can also be crafted back into a lead ingot. And now, instead, the snake bosses, instead of dropping lead ore, They'll be dropping ammo, which can be furnished or crafted to turn into uh, lead nuggets. And more information will again be available on the website, and the link will be in the description. So. Let's summon a snake boss. Yeah, and now we have many new types of weapons. First off, we have the mini pistol, which is a it uses mini pistol ammo and it's just not really powerful. But it does have the uh, high rate of fire that the pistol has. It 
also has limited range and is effectively gravity. As you can see here, it drops ammo. And just to show that ammo can be crafted into lead now. Yo. Oh, another one. Well, this time I'll be showing off the uh, double steel spear. Well, now there are five different types of spears. Just a regular spear, double, triple quad and five and uh, the five diamond spear is the most powerful of them all with really slow attack speed and it deals 34 damage oh and by the way the uh, reptilian titan boss has 120 health And uh, at 34 damage, this thing can one-hit most of the types of enemies in this game, such as zombies and skeletons and creepers, but not endermen. It also created large machetes, with the large diamond machete being the most powerful of them all. And again, you can find its crafting recipe on my website. Link will be in the description. Its attack speed is slightly slower than that of the sword and the machete. So I'll spawn. Sneak Snake, which by the way is the uh, Slithering Fury. Another important note. Now the monsters, well actually the animals, only spawn at night time. This is designed so that on the first day of that you play this mod, that there won't be any of these creatures, but then at night time you start seeing them, and then slowly the game gets harder over time. And yeah, you'll probably notice how you won't be seeing as many zombies as you used to because uh, many of the uh, types of creatures in this mod now attack zombies. Oh, and here's a crocodile, which I'm pretty sure wasn't here earlier. But they've also... The crocodiles now move faster than they used to. But most importantly, all of the animals have movement animations now. As you can see. Uh, just to show how fast this thing moves. Yeah, it's moving faster than it used to. But otherwise, most of the uh, creatures have the same speed they used to have. Well, I made the buffalo really slightly slower so that you might be able to lead it away for a longer time. Anyways, I'm going to show off more of these weapons. 
there's the heavy pistol and it uses heavy pistol ammo now this one isn't as rapidly firing this one can't fire as rapidly as the other two pistols but it's more powerful has longer range has a long wind up time just like the rifle and shotgun it has better range and accuracy oh and there's a hippo it looks different now I want to show you a close up oh and it, and it was coming right for me Yeah, and it was moving pretty fast too. Still not as fast as a buffalo. And as you can see, it was moving its legs. Mm. Alright, next up. The light rifle uses light rifle ammo. It's a uh, pretty similar to the heavy pistol. It just does slightly more damage, and its ammo is slightly more expensive. And uh, next up, the assault rifle, which uses assault rifle ammo. And uh, don't let the name trick you. This isn't a machine gun or an automatic rifle. It's just a more powerful and well, it's a rapid fire. Similarly to the pistol and the mini pistol. This is as, yeah, this is as rapid as they get. Information about the wind-up time and damage of each weapon will be available on my website. Then here's the grenade launcher, which uses grenades. And uh, yeah, it does explode. Ooh, pretty big explosion. And uh, well, it's not really all that powerful against a single tough enemy. it would be pretty effective against a clump of enemies. Most not notably snakes and boars, which are called feral hogs now. And then there's another relative to the grenade launcher, which is called the bazooka, and it uses rockets as ammo. Its ammo is more precious and more valuable, and its shots aren't affected by gravity. They also make bigger explosions than the grenade launcher, and it deals more damage. It might be able to one-shot a zombie if you shoot it directly, and any enemies hit directly will catch fire. <laughs> it basically looks like a, an arrow that's on fire. Alright, and uh, 
And then here's the hunting rifle, which you've already seen. There's the shotgun, which you've already seen as well. With a, I'll just show them off again. Shotgun. Yeah. I've actually slightly reduced the spread. In the hunting rifle. But now I've added a tactical shotgun. It uses the same ammo as the regular shotgun. Well, between this one and the regular shotgun, this one has less spread. And it fires slightly less pellets. In case you've noticed, uh, these blocks aren't getting destroyed by bullets anymore. Yeah. But on the bright side, the tactical shotgun deals more damage than the regular one. Yeah, it depends on your preference. And lastly, here's oh, the rifled shotgun, and it fires shotgun slugs. It's similar to the hunting rifle, except it's even more powerful. It deals 60 damage, so it can one-shot crocodiles, buffaloes, and hippos even. It would probably also be a pretty good choice of a weapon to use against the Ender Dragon. See, he shot right there. 60 damage. Well, guys. Well guys, that will be it as, as far as the showcase, because the rest of the information will be available on my website, which will include crafting recipes and statistics about the weapons and the creatures. Also, later on this week, you might be seeing a live stream on this channel, Mongus Animation, about me live streaming the Minecraft gameplay, which will also happen to be the next update. So, uh, 